Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is uh, the vlog for Crystal Palace against Tottenham. I'm already at the ground, but um, yeah, there's lots of housework going on right now. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> um, I think I might act we might actually get the win. I reckon, I reckon 2 1 the Palace. Uh, Son's not playing. The only thing I'm frustrated with with the lineup is that Eduard, who we signed 40 million quid, Hughes, we signed for six, and Elise, who we signed back in July for about 8 million. No, they're all on the bench. I just don't get it. We're playing the same line that we did against West Ham. And by the way, with the West Ham video, thank you so much for over 500 views. It means a lot. Let's hope this gets as many views today. Come on, Palace. Let's beat the Spurs. I hate Tottenham. I absolutely hate Tottenham. Come on, you Palace. Still nil-nil. Um, yeah, I just... Um, Palace have been the better side, I think. Just can't put the ball in the box. Just can't cross the ball for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, I, I think the Palace can do something, but Tottenham, I mean Lucas Moura has done really well for them, he has done really well for them. Right guys, now the nutters have gone, <laughs> I can um, now uh, run through the first half, so uh, half time, nil nil, just like Brentford, um, I do think that we have been the better side, I know it, I know it doesn't sound right because we're playing Tottenham, but Genuinely, we've had four more. We've had more chances to get up the field, but we just can't get the ball in the box. I think we need either we need one of our new signings to come on. We need Eduard on. Elise is more creative as well. All right. I just think I, I think that we can break down Tottenham, but I just think now that it's nil nil at half time and they haven't been playing really well, uh, Nuno is just going to be digging right in. But I think Vieira's going to be as well. So. I don't know how the second half is going to pan out. It's either going to go really bad or really good or same old, same old. And um, yeah, the closest chance we had was right before half time. Zaha whips the ball in at near post and Gallagher had a shot that was quite well saved actually by uh, Lloris. Tottenham's main chance, they've really had a shot on goal Tottenham. So I hope that stays that way for the rest of the game. So. Looking at the positions before the game, Tottenham uh, are top of the table with nine points won all of their three games and Palace haven't won a game yet. So for us to be the better side sounds ridiculous, but genuinely we have been the better side. Come on you Palace. I really want to go at Salas Park today because I'm not filming another vlog for over another two weeks because we, uh, the Brighton game is on Monday Night Football. So come on. Got a massive fight going on. So basically, Lucas Moura went down injured and Zaha decided to carry on. Tanganga's just walloped him down and uh, there's been a massive fight going on. I don't know what the rest going to give because uh, there's going to be a VAR here. There's got to be. There's got to be a VAR decision going on here because it was just mad. I don't... He's given the yellow card. He's given the yellow card to Tanganga. I think that's it, really. Or is he given the yellow card to Wilf as well? Yeah, he's given a yellow to Wilf as well. The red card! Tanganga's been sent off, second yellow card. No way is that going to VAR, that was a terrible foul. On, uh, I think it was Gallagher. He just pure slide tackled him. And he's been sent off. He's been sent off. Absolute filth play from Tanganga. Cheerio! 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 Yes! Ten men! We let more like winning now. Come on! I'm getting a bit frustrated now. We brought on Luca. Why on earth are we not bringing on a striker if our only problem is putting the ball in the net? We've got a free kick here. The man who just come on, Luca's going to take this. He's going to swing it in the box. Luca headed away. Why are you letting him get the ball? Well done, Jimmy Mack. Come on. We, we, I'll tell you what, we've done really well. This is better than West Ham, even though we ain't scored. Mitchell. Go on. Go on, here we are, we've got a little bit of a chance here. 
Luke up, no. Still got 20 minutes left. I think we've got a penalty. Handball. Handball. And um, the, re the assistant's flagged it and the referee's pointed to the spot. I think this could be going VAR, but I, I, don't, I don't know if it's going to be a penalty or not. Wilf is taking this penalty against Lloris. Now, Lloris is all right at saving pens, I think, anyway. It's Luca against Lloris for 1-0. What a game! What a game! Come on! Yes! Edward! He's just scored! <laughs> just before the end! Just before the end! Edward gets another one! 3-0! 3, -0. Three -0 for the Palace! Electric full time 3 0. Oh my god, that is the best game I've seen as a Palace fan. That is right up there with some great results I've seen. Oh, that is, a, that is one of the best results I have seen as a Palace fan. Full time at St. Louis Park, Crystal Palace 3, Tottenham 0. I'm going to have to end the video here, guys. What a game! Oh my god, thank you so much for the views against West Ham. Hopefully, you will get more. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Yes!